In this tutorial, I'd like to show you CoverFlux 2 from Industrial Revolution. CoverFlux 2 is a free plugin that offers cover flow style scrolling of still images for use in video. But as you'll see, it goes far beyond simple scrolling to add a dynamic creative element to your video. I'm in Final Cut Pro, but CoverFlux works in Final Cut Express, Motion, and After Effects as well. CoverFlux is a generator, so you can find it by clicking the Generators tab and by going to Industrial Revolution, CoverFlux 2. It will appear in the viewer with some of Apple's default images as placeholders. I'll drag it down to the timeline. Next, I'll load up some photos. I'll click the Choose button in the Images section. Once I've chosen my pics from the dialog, I'll get a handy photo management window. This allows me to add, delete, rename, or reorder my photos. Now that my photos are loaded up, let's take a look at some of the presets. The built-in presets are excellent with lots of different choices of motion. All of this motion is auto-animation built into the generator itself. As I'll show you later, you can also use keyframing for more complete control, but it's easy to use right out of the gate. I like this preset called Impressive, Let's mess with some of the settings. At the top is a resolution setting. I'll leave this set to low while I work and then switch it to high at the end for my final render. Under the geometry section, I'll scale the photos down slightly and increase the spacing as well. I'll decrease the max angle, which will face the photos slightly flatter towards the camera. Next, we have control over a virtual camera. I chose this preset because I like the perceived distance between the photos and the camera's point of view. I'd like to add some motion to the camera with keyframes. Animating Z position will allow us a slow push toward the pics. We have control over the reflections. I'll make some small tweaks to the opacity and the offset. Under effects, we can add some more sheen to this sequence. We can add blur or desaturate. I like to add gloss, which gives us a little shine on the pics when they're at an angle. I'll adjust the amount, height, and rotation of the gloss to my taste. On masking, I can round the corners, maybe soften the edges, or even use a custom mask. I don't want to include titles in this sequence, but I'll show you that if you turn on titles, you get complete control over aspects like font, size, alignment, position, and can use effects like drop shadow and blur. Lastly, I'll show you that even though this shiny black room looks cool, this generator creates an alpha channel so I can composite it onto any background I'd like. CoverFlux 2 is a powerful generator that's great for video editing as well as any other use in which you'd like to create a dynamic slideshow, photographic portfolios, wedding slideshows, the sky's the limit. And best of all, it's absolutely free. FX Factory offers a huge selection of great plugins. And if you don't have them yet, I suggest you go try them out at noiseindustries.com.